Dear friends, today we gather to explore a profound and essential theme in our lives, finding rest in God. This topic resonates deeply with each of us, especially in a world that often feels chaotic and overwhelming. The demands of daily life can weigh heavily on our shoulders, leaving us feeling fatigued and stretched thin. The need for rest, both physical and spiritual, has never been more critical. In our contemporary society, we are constantly bombarded with messages that glorify busyness and productivity. We are encouraged to fill our schedules to the brim, to chase after achievements, and to measure our worth by the tasks we complete. This relentless pursuit of success can lead to a sense of emptiness, as we find ourselves caught in a cycle of striving without truly experiencing fulfillment. The pressure to perform can be suffocating, and in the midst of it all, we often forget the importance of rest. Yet amidst this whirlwind of expectations and responsibilities, God extends a gentle and loving invitation to us to find rest in Him. He calls us to step away from the chaos of our lives and to seek solace in His presence. In Matthew 11, 28, 30, Jesus invites us with open arms, saying, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. This promise is not merely a comforting thought. It is a profound truth that has the power to transform our lives. It reminds us that we do not have to carry our burdens alone. We can lay them at the feet of our Savior. As we embark on this journey through our devotion today, I encourage you to open your hearts and minds to the truth of God's Word. Let us set aside the distractions that vie for our attention and focus on the One who knows our needs intimately and cares for us deeply. Together, we will discover how we can find true rest in our Creator, who offers us peace that surpasses all understanding. In this exploration, we will delve into the Scriptures, reflecting on the promises God has made regarding rest and renewal. We will consider the ways in which we can cultivate a deeper relationship with Him, allowing His presence to refresh our weary souls. We will explore the significance of surrendering our burdens and anxieties to God, recognizing that He is our refuge and strength in times of trouble. So, I invite you to take a deep breath, to pause for a moment, and to prepare your hearts for what God has in store for us today. Let us seek to understand the depth of His love and the rest that He offers, knowing that in Him we can find refuge and strength. Together, let us embark on this journey of finding rest in God, embracing the peace and comfort that comes from trusting in His unfailing promises. May this time together be a source of encouragement and renewal as we learn to rest in the arms of our loving Father. Let's begin with the words of Jesus in Matthew 11:28, 28, 30, KJV. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. These verses are a beautiful invitation from our Savior, a heartfelt call to each of us who find ourselves weary and burdened by the demands of life. In this passage, Jesus acknowledges the reality of our struggles and the weight of our worries. He sees the exhaustion etched on our faces the fatigue that seeps into our bones, and the emotional toll that our daily lives can take. When Jesus invites us to come to Him, He is not merely offering a suggestion. He is extending a lifeline to those who feel overwhelmed. He understands that life can be heavy, filled with responsibilities, expectations, and challenges that can leave us feeling drained. The burdens we carry can manifest in various forms. Stress from work, anxiety about the future, relational conflicts, or even the weight of our own expectations. In a world that often demands more than we can give, it is easy to feel like we are carrying the weight of the world on our shoulders. In this invitation, Jesus offers us a promise. I will give you rest. This rest is not just a temporary reprieve from our struggles. It is a deep, soul-refreshing peace that comes from being in His presence. It is a rest that transcends our circumstances, allowing us to find solace even in the midst of chaos. Jesus invites us to take His yoke upon us, which signifies a partnership with Him. By sharing our burdens with Him, we can experience a lighter load. He encourages us to learn from Him, for He describes Himself as meek and lowly in heart. This humility is a stark contrast to the pride and self-sufficiency that often characterize our lives. In learning from Jesus, we discover the beauty of surrendering our burdens to Him and embracing His gentle guidance. He does not demand perfection from us. Rather, he invites us into a relationship where we can find comfort and strength. The promise that ye shall find rest unto your souls is a profound assurance. It speaks to the deepest part of our being, the soul, which longs for peace and fulfillment. 
In a world that often leaves us feeling empty, Jesus offers us the fullness of life that comes from resting in him. He reassures us that his yoke is easy and his burden is light, reminding us that we do not have to navigate life alone. As we reflect on these verses, let us embrace the invitation to come to Jesus with our burdens. Let us take a moment to acknowledge the weight we carry and to surrender it to him. In doing so, we open ourselves to the rest and renewal that only he can provide. Jesus stands ready to lift our burdens and to walk alongside us, offering us the peace and comfort we so desperately need. Are you feeling weary today? Perhaps you are burdened by responsibilities, relationships, or the relentless pressures of life that seem to weigh heavily on your shoulders. In the hustle and bustle of our daily routines, it is all too easy to become overwhelmed by the demands placed upon us. Whether it's the expectations at work, the challenges within our families, or the emotional toll of navigating relationships, these burdens can leave us feeling drained and exhausted. In the midst of this weariness, Jesus extends a compassionate invitation to you. Come to him. He understands the struggles you face and the weight you carry. He doesn't promise that our problems will simply vanish or that life will become free of challenges. Instead, he assures us that we can find genuine rest in him, a rest that transcends our circumstances and offers peace to our weary souls. Imagine for a moment the act of laying down your burdens at his feet. Visualize yourself in a quiet, sacred space where you can freely express your worries and fears. Picture yourself exchanging your heavy yoke for his light one, feeling the relief wash over you as you release the things that have been holding you back. This is not just a metaphor. It is a profound promise from our Savior. When we come to Jesus, we find a refuge where our souls can be restored, a safe haven where we can experience his love and grace. As you consider this invitation, take a moment to reflect on what burdens you are currently carrying. What weighs heavily on your heart? Is it the stress of work deadlines, the strain of financial worries, or perhaps the heartache of broken relationships? Write them down if you can, allowing yourself to acknowledge the reality of these burdens. Now visualize handing them over to Jesus. Picture yourself placing each concern into his capable hands, trusting that he will take care of your needs. Feel the weight lift as you surrender your worries to him allowing his peace to fill the spaces that once held anxiety and fear. In this moment of surrender, you are not only releasing your burdens, but also embracing the promise of rest that Jesus offers. Allow yourself to breathe deeply, feeling the tension in your body begin to ease. As you trust in his provision, remember that you are not alone in your struggles. Jesus walks with you, offering comfort and strength. In him, you can find the rest your soul longs for, a rest that rejuvenates and restores. Embrace this opportunity to connect with him, knowing that he is always ready to receive you with open arms. In Psalm 23, 1, 3, KJV, we read, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. This passage paints a beautiful and comforting picture of God as our shepherd, a role that embodies care, guidance, and provision. The imagery of a shepherd is rich with meaning, evoking a sense of safety and security. Just as a shepherd tends to his flock, ensuring they are well-fed, protected, and guided, so too does God watch over us with unwavering love and attention. When the psalmist declares, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, it speaks to the profound truth that in God we find everything we need. He is our provider, meeting our physical, emotional, and spiritual needs. In a world where we often feel the pressure to strive for more, this assurance reminds us that we can find contentment in Him. We do not have to chase after worldly desires or live in a state of constant want. Instead, we can rest in the knowledge that God is sufficient for us. The next line, He maketh me to lie down in green pastures, evokes a serene image of lush, peaceful fields where one can find rest. Green pastures symbolize abundance and nourishment, a place where we can be refreshed and rejuvenated. God invites us to lie down, to take a break from our striving, and to find solace in his presence. This is not merely a physical rest, but a deep spiritual renewal that comes from being in communion with our Creator. Furthermore, the phrase, He leadeth me beside the still waters, emphasizes the tranquility that God provides. Still waters represent peace and calmness, a stark contrast to the turbulence of life. In moments of chaos and uncertainty, God leads us to places of serenity where we can drink deeply from the well of his peace. It is in these still waters that we can find clarity and strength, 
allowing us to navigate the challenges we face with grace and confidence. The psalm continues with the powerful declaration, He restoreth my soul. This restoration is a profound act of love and grace. God understands the weariness that can settle in our hearts and minds, and He desires to rejuvenate us. When we feel depleted, overwhelmed, or lost, He is there to breathe new life into our spirits. This restoration is not just a temporary fix, it is a deep, transformative work that revitalizes our very essence. Finally, the psalmist concludes with the assurance that He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for His name's sake. God's guidance is not arbitrary. It is purposeful and aligned with His character. He leads us in paths that are right and good, helping us to walk in alignment with His will. This guidance is a testament to His faithfulness and integrity. As we follow Him, we can trust that He is leading us toward a life that reflects His goodness and glory. In summary, Psalm 23, 1, 3 beautifully encapsulates the essence of God's care for us as our shepherd. He provides for our needs, leads us to places of rest and restoration, and guides us in paths of righteousness. In a world that often feels chaotic and demanding, we can find comfort and peace in knowing that we are under the watchful eye of a loving shepherd who desires the best for us. Let us take a moment to reflect on this truth and allow it to sink deep into our hearts, reminding us that we are never alone and that we can always find rest in Him. Think about the imagery of green pastures and still waters. These are not just picturesque scenes. They represent places of peace and tranquility that our hearts long for. In the hustle and bustle of our daily lives, it is easy to overlook the significance of these serene landscapes. God desires to lead you to such places in your life where you can experience His presence and find true rest. He wants to restore your soul, to refresh you in ways that only He can, bringing healing to the weary parts of your spirit. When was the last time you took a moment to rest in God's presence? In our busy lives filled with endless tasks and responsibilities, we often forget to pause and reflect on His goodness. We rush from one obligation to the next, leaving little room for stillness and contemplation. Yet, it is in those quiet moments that we can truly connect with God and allow Him to speak to our hearts. I encourage you to find a quiet place, even if just for a few minutes, where you can escape the noise and distractions of the world. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, and meditate on the profound truth that the Lord is your shepherd. As you sit in that stillness, allow yourself to envision the green pastures and still waters that God promises. Picture yourself lying down in a lush meadow, feeling the soft grass beneath you, and hearing the gentle flow of a nearby stream. Let the peace of that imagery wash over you, reminding you that God is with you, guiding you to places of rest and restoration. Reflection. Consider what it means for you to be led by God. Are there areas in your life where you need His guidance? Perhaps you are facing decisions that feel overwhelming, or you are navigating relationships that bring you stress. Maybe you are simply feeling lost in the busyness of life and need direction. Trust that He will lead you to the still waters and restore your soul. Take a moment to reflect on the specific burdens you are carrying. What worries or fears are weighing you down? Bring them before God in prayer, asking Him to guide you and provide the peace you seek. As you do this, remember that you are not alone. The Good Shepherd is always by your side, ready to lead you to the places of rest that your heart desires. Embrace the assurance that in His presence, you can find the refreshment and renewal you need to face each day with hope and strength. In Philippians 4, 6, 7, KJV, we find this powerful encouragement. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. In these verses, the Apostle Paul offers us a profound reminder that we do not need to be anxious about anything. In a world filled with uncertainties and challenges, it is all too easy to succumb to worry and fear. We often find ourselves caught in a cycle of anxiety, where our minds race with thoughts of what could go wrong or how we might fail. Yet Paul calls us to a different response, one that is rooted in faith and trust in God. Instead of allowing anxiety to take hold, we are encouraged to bring our concerns to God in prayer. This is not merely a suggestion, it is an invitation to engage in a transformative dialogue with our Creator. When we approach God with our worries, we are acknowledging His sovereignty and power over our lives. We are reminded that He is not only aware of our struggles, but is also intimately involved in our circumstances. Paul emphasizes the importance of prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. 
This combination is significant. Prayer is our direct line of communication with God, where we can express our fears, desires, and needs. Supplication refers to earnest requests, where we humbly seek God's intervention in our lives. However, Paul adds a crucial element, thanksgiving. Gratitude shifts our focus from our problems to God's faithfulness. It reminds us of the blessings we have received and the ways God has already worked in our lives. When we approach God with a heart of thankfulness, we cultivate an attitude of trust, recognizing that He is capable of handling our requests. As we bring our requests before God, Paul assures us that the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. This peace is not a fleeting emotion. It is a deep, abiding sense of tranquility that comes from knowing that God is in control. It transcends our circumstances and defies human logic. In times of turmoil, when the world around us may be chaotic, God's peace can envelop us, guarding our hearts and minds against fear and doubt. This peace is a gift that we receive when we choose to trust God with our worries. It acts as a protective barrier, keeping our hearts from being overwhelmed by anxiety and our minds from spiraling into despair. Through Christ Jesus, we have access to this peace, which serves as a reminder of His presence and His promises. In summary, Philippians 4, 6, 7 encourages us to release our anxieties and to bring our concerns to God through prayer. It invites us to cultivate a spirit of gratitude as we seek His guidance and intervention. As we do so, we can experience the profound peace that only God can provide, a peace that guards our hearts and minds, allowing us to navigate life's challenges with confidence and hope. Let us take this encouragement to heart, knowing that we are never alone in our struggles and that God is always ready to listen and respond to our needs. Are you feeling anxious or overwhelmed? In the midst of life's challenges, it is common to experience feelings of anxiety, uncertainty, and stress. God invites you to lay your worries before Him, to bring your burdens into His presence. He wants to hear your heart, to understand the depths of your concerns, and to provide you with the comfort and reassurance you need. When we approach Him with prayer and thanksgiving, we open the door to His peace, a peace that surpasses all understanding. This peace is not merely a fleeting emotion. It is a profound sense of calm and assurance that comes from knowing that God is in control. It is a peace that transcends our circumstances, allowing us to remain steady and secure even when the world around us feels chaotic and unpredictable. Imagine living in a state of peace, even when the storms of life rage around you. Picture yourself standing firm amidst the winds and waves, anchored by the knowledge that God is with you. This is the rest that God offers a sanctuary for your soul where you can find refuge from the turmoil of life. It is a divine gift that guards our hearts and minds, protecting us from the anxiety and fear that can so easily overwhelm us. This peace is not dependent on our circumstances. It does not require everything in our lives to be perfect or resolved. Instead, it flourishes in the midst of uncertainty, reminding us that our hope is not found in our situations, but in our relationship with God. He is our steadfast anchor, our source of strength, and our ever-present help in times of trouble. Reflection. Take a moment to pray. Find a quiet space where you can connect with God without distractions. Bring your worries to Him, laying them at His feet. Be honest about your feelings and concerns, and allow yourself to be vulnerable in His presence. Thank Him for His faithfulness, for the ways He has provided for you in the past, and for the promises He has made for your future. As you pray, ask Him to fill you with His peace. Invite His presence into your heart and mind, trusting that He will guard you against anxiety and fear. Visualize His peace enveloping you, calming the storms within and around you. Allow yourself to rest in the assurance that God is with you, guiding you through every challenge you face. Embrace the peace that He offers, knowing that you are never alone in your struggles. In Isaiah 40, 31, KJV, we read, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint. This powerful verse offers a profound promise to those who place their hope and trust in God. It speaks to the transformative power of waiting on the Lord, emphasizing that this waiting is not a passive act, but an active choice. It requires us to trust in His timing and His plans for our lives, even when circumstances seem uncertain or challenging. Waiting on the Lord can often feel difficult, especially in a world that values immediacy and quick results. We live in a culture that encourages us to take matters into our own hands, to push forward relentlessly, and to seek instant gratification. 
However, God calls us to a different approach, one that involves patience, faith, and a deep reliance on His wisdom. When we wait upon the Lord, we are acknowledging that He is sovereign over our lives. We are recognizing that His understanding far surpasses our own and that His timing is perfect. This act of waiting is an expression of faith, a declaration that we trust God to fulfill His promises in His way and in His time. It is in this waiting that we often find our greatest growth, as we learn to lean on Him and to seek His guidance in all things. The promise that those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength is a beautiful assurance. Life can be exhausting, and we may find ourselves feeling weary and depleted. Yet God promises that as we wait on Him, He will replenish our strength. This renewal is not just a temporary boost, it is a deep, abiding strength that empowers us to face the challenges ahead. The imagery of mounting up with wings as eagles is particularly striking. Eagles are known for their ability to soar high above the ground, gliding effortlessly on the wind. When we wait on the Lord, we are given the ability to rise above our circumstances, to gain a new perspective, and to experience a sense of freedom that comes from trusting in God. This soaring represents the spiritual elevation we can achieve when we place our hope in Him. Furthermore, the verse assures us that we shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. This speaks to the endurance that God provides. In our journey of faith, there will be times when we feel like we are running a marathon, facing obstacles that seem insurmountable. However, when we wait on the Lord, He equips us with the strength to keep moving forward, even when the path is difficult. We can walk through life with confidence, knowing that God is sustaining us every step of the way. In summary, Isaiah 40, 31 invites us to embrace the practice of waiting on the Lord as an active choice rooted in faith. It encourages us to trust in His timing and plans, reminding us that in our waiting, we can experience renewal, strength, and the ability to rise above our circumstances. As we learn to wait on God, we discover the profound truth that He is always with us, guiding us and empowering us to navigate the challenges of life with grace and resilience. Let us take this promise to heart, knowing that our strength is renewed as we place our hope in Him. Are you feeling weary? Perhaps you've been running on empty, trying to do everything in your own strength. The demands of life can be overwhelming, and it's easy to feel like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. In these moments of exhaustion, it's important to remember that God promises that when we wait on Him, He will renew our strength. This renewal is not just a fleeting moment of energy, it is a profound transformation that revitalizes our entire being. Think about the imagery of eagles soaring high above the ground. Eagles are known for their incredible strength and grace as they glide effortlessly through the sky. They rise above the storms and challenges, using the winds to lift them higher. This is the kind of strength God wants to give you. It's not just about physical strength, it's about spiritual vitality and resilience. When we wait on the Lord, we are empowered to rise above our circumstances, gaining a new perspective that allows us to see beyond our immediate struggles. This strength is a gift from God, one that enables us to face life's challenges with confidence and courage. It is a reminder that we do not have to rely solely on our own abilities or resources. Instead, we can lean into God's promises, trusting that He will provide the strength we need to navigate whatever comes our way. This divine strength equips us to endure hardships, to persevere through trials, and to maintain our faith even when the path is difficult. Reflection. Consider what it means to wait on the Lord in your life. Are there areas where you need to pause and trust Him? Perhaps you are facing decisions that feel overwhelming, or you are dealing with stress and anxiety that seem unrelenting. Allow yourself to take a step back and reflect on these challenges. In this moment of stillness, invite God into your situation. Ask Him to help you identify the areas where you need His strength and guidance. Surrender your worries and fears to Him, trusting that He is capable of handling them far better than you can on your own. As you wait on Him, be open to the renewal He offers. Allow Him to fill you with His peace and strength, enabling you to rise above your circumstances like the eagle soaring high in the sky. Take time to meditate on His promises and let the truth of His Word wash over you. Remember that you are not alone in your struggles. God is with you ready to renew your strength and empower you for the journey ahead. Embrace this opportunity to rest in His presence, knowing that as you wait on Him, you will find the strength you need to continue moving forward with hope and resilience. Finally, let's look at Psalm 46, 10, KJV. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. 
I will be exalted in the earth. This verse offers a profound invitation to pause and reflect on the nature of God. In a world that is constantly moving, where distractions abound and the pace of life seems relentless, being still can feel like a significant challenge. We are often caught up in the whirlwind of our daily responsibilities, commitments, and the noise of our surroundings. Yet, amidst this chaos, God calls us to stillness, a sacred space where we can quiet our minds and hearts to recognize His sovereignty and power. The command to be still is not merely about physical stillness, it encompasses a deeper spiritual stillness that invites us to rest in God's presence. It is an invitation to set aside our worries, fears, and the busyness of life to focus on the one who is in control. In stillness, we can find clarity and peace, allowing us to hear God's voice more clearly. It is in these moments of quiet reflection that we can truly understand who God is and what He desires for us. When we take the time to be still, we acknowledge that God is sovereign over all creation. He is not just a distant observer. He is actively involved in our lives and the world around us. The psalmist reminds us that God will be exalted among the nations and throughout the earth. This declaration serves as a powerful reminder of His ultimate authority and the assurance that His plans will prevail, regardless of the circumstances we face. In our stillness, we can reflect on the greatness of God. We can meditate on His attributes, His love, mercy, and faithfulness. We can remember the ways He has worked in our lives and the promises He has made. This reflection helps us to cultivate a deeper trust in Him, knowing that He is capable of handling our concerns and guiding us through our challenges. Moreover, being still allows us to surrender our burdens to God. It is an opportunity to lay down our anxieties and fears, trusting that He will take care of us. In a world that often encourages self-reliance and independence, God invites us to lean on Him, to find our strength in His presence. This act of surrender is liberating. It frees us from the weight of trying to control everything and allows us to experience the peace that comes from trusting in His perfect plan. As we embrace the call to be still, let us also remember the promise that follows. I will be exalted in the earth. This assurance reminds us that God's glory will ultimately shine through, regardless of the chaos that surrounds us. When we take the time to be still and recognize His sovereignty, we become part of His story, witnessing His power at work in our lives and the world. In summary, Psalm 46, 10 invites us to embrace stillness as a vital practice in our spiritual journey. It encourages us to pause, reflect, and recognize God's sovereignty and power. As we cultivate this stillness, we open ourselves to the peace and clarity that comes from being in His presence. Let us take this invitation to heart, knowing that in our stillness we can find strength, renewal, and a deeper understanding of who God is. When was the last time you paused to be still before God? In those precious moments of stillness, we can truly hear His voice and feel His comforting presence enveloping us. It is in these quiet interludes that we discover the deep rest our souls crave. Being still doesn't equate to inactivity. Rather, it's an active choice to trust God and allow Him to work in our lives. It's a powerful reminder that He is in control, even when the storms of life threaten to overwhelm us. So find a serene space, Take a few deep breaths and let yourself be still before God. Reflect on His greatness and the boundless love He has for you. Trust that He is at work in your life, even when you can't see the evidence right away. As we wrap up this devotion on finding rest in God, I want to remind you of the incredible promise that God extends to each of us. No matter the challenges you face, you can find true rest in Him. Life may throw obstacles in your path, but remember that God is your refuge and strength. He invites you to come to Him, to lay down your burdens, and to trust in His unwavering care. I encourage you to carve out time each day to seek rest in God, whether through heartfelt prayer, meditating on His Word, or simply sitting quietly in His presence. Make it a priority to connect with Him. Remember, you are never alone in your struggles. God is right there with you, longing to restore your soul. As you rest in Him, may you experience His peace, strength, and love in profound and transformative ways. Embrace this opportunity to find solace in His presence and let His comfort wash over you. Let us conclude with a prayer. Heavenly Father, we are grateful for the rest you provide. Teach us to release our burdens and discover true peace in your presence. Renew our strength and lead us along your righteous paths. May we always find moments to be still and recognize that you are God. Amen.